Hey guys, we're tired at 40. We are freeze drying weird fruit today. And this one is the largest fruit known to man. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. I am your host, Brian, also known as Retired at 40. And today we're freeze drying one of the weirdest things that I've ever experienced in my life. It's the largest fruit known to man. These can grow up to 80 pounds. This thing is bigger than my head. It's very spiky. This made its journey all the way from India so it could end up in our freeze dryer today. Today we are freeze drying jackfruit. So jackfruit is not easy to come by, especially in rural Iowa, but I found one. This is a really unique type of fruit. It's native to India. It grows in a lot of different tropical climates though. These things can grow up to 80 pounds, which is crazy. The one we're doing today is almost 17 pounds. And I have actually freeze dried one of these before and it made a really, really nice treat. And you can actually use jackfruit for a lot of different things, not just a snack. Um, it's, it's a very sweet type fruit. It's very similar to like a mango or a, a fig or something like that. Um, it's in the same category as those type of fruits. Some people think they taste a little bit like an apple, um, but it's a, it's, it's a very, it's a mellow sweet type of taste, but they, these are also used in a lot of different recipes uh, for vegans and vegetarians because because of the texture of the fruit it's a lot like uh, pulled pork or something like that these can be a little bit spendy they're usually about a dollar a pound so this jackfruit was about sixteen dollars but the amount of food that this pr uh, produces is a lot and if you think about the journey that this took just to make it into my kitchen in uh, rural Iowa is uh, is pretty incredible um, but it is sort of a, a delicacy I would say uh, over here because it's just really not a very common fruit and if you want to get one of these you're probably gonna to have to go to like a Whole Foods or some sort of, some sort of specialty market to get one I'm hoping that after all of this uh, journey that this thing has taken that it's uh, it's actually ripe and it's ready and the last time I did this I had the hardest time getting this thing processed the way it needed to be Now that we have this opened up, you can see the inside. There's kind of a, a rind or something similar to a melon on the outside. You don't want any of that. These parts right here are seeds. But the part you're after is this part that's around the seed that's kind of that golden color and it's, a, it's kind of a pod. I'll show you a whole one here. All right, we've been wrestling with this thing for about 20 minutes now, but once you kind of figure out how it's laid out, it gets a little bit easier. There's basically a center hard part, which would be the stem. All the, the fruit is around the outside. The rind is on the very outside, the spiky part. But these little stringy things hold in this fruit. So once you get all those pulled out, you're kind of left with something that kind of looks like a yellow pepper. And then inside of these pods, there's a big seed with another little kind of rind thing that you can pull out. And what you're left with is kind of the meat of the fruit. So here's all of our leftovers. But what we're after is this bowl full of goodness here. And after it's all processed, we've got five pounds, six and a half ounces. I'll take the, the weight out for the bowl here in a second. So I ended up with three large trays full of jackfruit. And our bowl weighs one pound, one ounce. That means that out of that 16 or 17 pound jackfruit, we got about this much jackfruit. So jackfruit is extremely sticky. So I used our pre-cut parchment paper and I'm gonna put our tray stackers on here and then these are going into the deep freeze, but we're not done yet because you can use more parts of the jackfruit. Save all of your seeds because we're gonna make something with all of those. And these seeds have this outer shell on them. If you can take that off first, that would be preferred. And then we're gonna boil these until they're soft. So we boiled these for 20 minutes. And what that boiling does is actually allows you to take one more layer of skin off. And what you're left with is what looks like a little baked potato. They also taste and have the same texture as a potato. What I wanna do, I wanna cut all these in half, throw some seasoning on them, 
and then uh, put them in the freeze dryer because I, I have not done the seeds before. I'm really curious to see what happens with those. You can make all kinds of stuff with this. You can make hummus, you can make curries, um, you can season them and smoke them. But I think these will actually do really well. They're not oily or greasy or anything like uh, a lot of seeds or nuts typically are, so they should freeze dry pretty well. Let me know down in the comments what your experiences are with jackfruit. I'm gonna go throw these in the deep freeze and we're gonna get to freeze drying. Before we freeze dry, take a minute to subscribe to Live Life Simple. If you found the video helpful, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm get this to future freeze dryers and fellow freeze dryers. And also people that are just curious about freeze drying. Another great resource for freeze drying is our Facebook or our MeWe groups. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of freeze dryers on there. They can answer all kinds of questions. We also do a weekly giveaway of free freeze drying gear. Make sure you check out our store, freezedryingsupplies.com. Any of the gear that you see in this video, you can get there. And last, if you're considering purchasing a freeze dryer, consider using our affiliate link. It really helps us out. It helps you out and it helps out the entire freeze drying community. It helps this YouTube content coming. It helps us maintain the social media groups and it keeps us on top of the latest in freeze drying. Speaking of freeze drying, let's do that now. All right, let's get this jackfruit going. I'm gonna put the seeds on the top and what I'm hoping is that this shell that's on here will actually, it will stay the same size it is now. And the meat part of the seed I'm hoping will shrivel up a little bit and then that, that outer shell will just kind of drop off. These are good to go. I'll see you in a little bit for some freeze dried jackfruit. All right, we're all done, and it took 25 hours and 31 minutes. And let's check and see if it got done. Well, I think the jackfruit's done, but the trays are still pretty cold. I'm gonna go ahead and throw like four more hours on it, just to be certain. Um, I don't want these to get messed up. These are like a, one of our favorite snacks to have. So I'm gonna put four, four hours back on, and I'll catch up with you in a second. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna get my food funnel set up. What I really like to do, these are, I'm using the smaller, the smaller Mylar bags right now. Um, that's usually what I, that's pretty much what I use exclusively. I use the smaller bags because I like that you can cut it in half. I like to seal it in the middle and get two portions uh, in one bag. All right, we ought to be good now. I'm gonna show you how easy the food funnel is. Seal it, label it, we're good to go. Well, it's been a couple weeks since I bagged this up and uh, I'm ready to give it a try. So I have my pieces of jackfruit and also my seeds. And I'm hoping these seeds, now that they're freeze dried, I'm hoping this outer shell will just kind of pop right off. And it, it looks like it does. The texture of the seeds by themselves, they're pretty dry. Definitely want a glass of water with these. But I think where these are gonna shine is probably mixed in with uh, some other kind of recipe or a substitute for something you're used to using. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some in some water and see if we can get those to uh, soften back up again. And it looks like already they're, uh, they're taking in quite a bit of water very quickly. If we, if we have to, we'll boil them. I think that'll definitely soften them up again. We're gonna see what happens with those. In the meantime, I wanna try this jackfruit and show you some of the jackfruit pieces. Jackfruit has such an interesting taste. It reminds you a lot of a mango, but the flavor is definitely unique to jackfruit, and I think also that it's not overpowering to the point that you could infuse any kind of flavor into this jackfruit. So if you're using it for a meat substitute or something like that, or if you were putting it into a, a fruit salad, something like that, um, it's gonna absorb pretty much anything that it's around. But honestly, my favorite is just this way, uh, just having it in a pouch like this and having a snack to go. I love it. Um, to me, it's just a treat. And our seeds have just been in for a couple minutes now. And after just a couple minutes, these are, these are pretty tender already. And I think that that outer shell will just peel off there real easy now. The resemblance to a potato is just uncanny, really. 
But I think you could find a whole bunch of uses for these seeds and uh, it just seems like a waste to get rid of them. They're packed with uh, nutrients and vitamins and all kinds of good stuff and they've got a great texture to them. So I'll have to keep you posted on what I end up doing with them or the use that I find with them. Not our typical type of food today, but something that's uh, that's really unique and interesting and I think that that's, uh, that's fun to do every once in a while. See if you can find jackfruit where you live. See if it's, uh, it's even on their radar. Uh, in the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.